can trust me, it will be a great time. We do want to remind everyone of a few things first. Now, we all know that this is very serious for the boys. It's very serious. But we want to encourage you all to feel free to laugh and humor them throughout the show. Just be polite and respectful the whole time. We also want to remind everyone about the People's Choice winner and how it works. Each contestant has a decorated container in the lobby. Please feel free to cast your vote for your favorite by placing money into that candidate's box. We will first begin with a candidate walkthrough, followed by an introduction of the candidates with their escorts in their outfits of choice. After that category, the contestants will perform their talent this evening, which will be followed with a short intermission and then an onstage question and answer. Then we will crown our 2024 Mr. DHS. So let's get started. Contestant number one is Henley Barrett. Contestant number two, Luke Worley. Contestant number three, Ben Dowdy. Contestant number four, Eli Scott. Contestant number five, Landon Gerald. Contestant number six, Caleb Gott. Contestant number seven, Layton Schaefer. Contestant number eight, Baron Greer. Contestant number nine, Ben Christian. Contestant number ten, John Sepulveda. Contestant number eleven, Vivon Patel. And contestant number twelve, Bryden Moore. We will now begin our outfit of choice category. Our first contestant this evening is Henley Barrett. Tonight, Henley is escorted by Emily Barrett. He is the son of Melanie Hicks and Ryan Barrett. His hobbies are fishing, sleeping, and playing video games. Henley's future plans are to become a lawyer and a loving husband. Emily described him in three words as really, really tall. Thank you, Henley. Our second contestant this evening is Luke Worley. Tonight, Luke is escorted by our MC, Amelia Holden. Luke is the son of Beth and Paul Gresham. His hobbies include playing Clash Royale and washing cars. Luke's future plan is to attend Arkansas State University. Amelia described him in three words as Our third contestant is Ben Dowdy. Tonight, Ben is escorted by Emma Pennington. Ben is the son of Josh and Elena Dowdy. His hobbies include often dashing through the snow, occasionally frog frolicking around town, and constantly forgetting his water bottle in class. Ben's future plan is to either start a garage band and make it big time, is Eli Scott. Tonight, Eli is escorted by Andrea Hernandez. He is the son of Rob and TJ Scott. His hobbies include pole vaulting and playing his recorder. Along with that, Eli's future plan is to become a world champion recorder player. Andrea described him in three words as my best friend. Our fifth contestant is Landon Gerald. Tonight, Landon is escorted by Lexi Bennett. He is the son of Ashley Mosher and Josh Gerald. His hobbies include musicals, participating in clubs, and hanging out with his friends. His future plan is to attend Missouri State University and major in marketing. When asked to describe Landon in three words, Lexi responded with talented, social, and funny. Our sixth contestant is Caleb God. Tonight, Caleb is escorted by Melanie Hubbard. He is the son of Brooke and Aaron God. His hobbies include hanging out with his friends and playing Minecraft. His future plan is to enroll in the Arkansas State University nursing program and do frat stuff. Melanie described him in three words as funny and do 
enthusiastic, and kind. Our seventh contestant tonight is Layton Schaefer. Layton is escorted by Brianna Jenkins. He is the son of Autumn and Drew Day. His hobbies include camping, cooking, theater, scholar bowl, and hanging out with his friends. His future plan is to attend Missouri State and enroll in their choral and drama programs as extracurriculars. Eventually, he hopes to pursue a career in either law or psychology. Brianna described him in three words as charming, kind, and handsome. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Our eighth contestant is Baron Greer. His future plan is to bench 1,000 pounds. Reese described him in three words as big, muscular, and handsome. Our ninth contestant is Ben Christian. Tonight, Ben is escorted by Avery Riley. He is the son of Bruce and Avery. John Sepulveda. Tonight, John is escorted by Grayson Hampton. He is the son of Jamie and Chip Sepulveda. His hobbies include playing basketball, singing, and having handstand competitions with his sister. John's future plans are to go to the NBA. Grayson describes him in three words as energetic, tall, and funny. is Vivon Patel. Tonight his escort is Isabella Pittman. He is the son of Ajit and Rajesh Patel and his hobbies include playing tennis and music. Vivon's future plan is to go to a four-year university and pursue investment banking or private equity and eventually start a business. Isabella describes him in three words as scared of women. Our 12th contestant is Bryden Moore. Tonight, Bryden is escorted by Kaylee Smith. Bryden is the son of Heather and Gail Jordan and Brad and Lakeisha Moore. His hobbies include writing music and stories, drawing, acting, and learning new, neat, pointless talents. Bryden's future plan is to go to the SEMA River campus to become an illustrator or a musician
portion of the evening, and we could not be any more excited. Each contestant was asked to prepare a talent for the evening, and I assure you that you will see a variety of entertainment. Our first contestant is Henley Barrett. This thing on? something to do. Too wet to go out, too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house. We did nothing at all. And then something went bump. Man, that bump made us jump. We looked and we saw him step in on the mat. It was the cat in the hat. And he said to us, why do you sit there like that? He said, I know it is wet and the sun is not sunny, but we can have lots of good fun that is funny. So I know this probably isn't going to go over well. Would you like to explain what you're doing to the audience? He's doing her makeup. I'm doing my makeup. Oh. Amelia, I, 
not in an offensive way at all, but this might be the prettiest you've looked in a long time. <laughs> what did you guys think about that? That was pretty good. Our third contestant is Ben Dowdy. Oh, I'm already terrified. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> since fifth grade. Welcome to North Little Rock. Hey, 
North Little Rock. <laughs> huh? Oh. Um, Landon? That would be the time to come out. He's out. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Is this the part where I say cue the music? Yes. That's what I'm wondering. Oh, uh, uh, weird, weird guy in the hat says yes, so cue the music. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. No one knows how hard I tried. Oh, I, I have oh my God, feelings we're that first. I can explain. <laughs> They're driving me insane. All my life been so polite But I'll sleep alone tonight Cause I'm just kidding Anywhere else I'd be a ten Is it my destiny to live and die A life of blonde fragility I'm just kidding Where I see love she sees a friend What will it take for her to see the man and fight for me Do you need us to say cue the music again? Do you need to cue the music? 
All right, cue the music. Unmute it. Unmute it. Oh, she can lose. She song for you tonight. I'm going to be singing my very favorite song, and that is Can't Help Falling in Love. No, that, that was a lie. 
Bye. J gotcha. Yep. Perfect. Yes, Can we all just have a round of applause for Baron because he's a freshman and he just got up here and did that. Okay. Contestant number nine is, you all know him and love him, Ben Christian and the Statue of Liberty. Oh. I wonder what he could possibly be This one's for Toby. <laughs> Hit it! I feel like the whole wide world is raining down on you. They all brought to you courtesy of the red, white, and blue. Justice will be served and the battle will reach. This big dog will fight when you rattle his cage. He's sorry that you messed with the U.S. of A. Cause we'll, we'll put a boot in your ass. It's the American way. Hey, Uncle Sam, put your name at the top of his list. The Statue of Liberty started shaking her fist And it'll feel like the whole wide world is raining down on you It'll feel like the whole wide world is raining down on you All brought to you courtesy of the red, white, and blue just a little bit off. Um, that word was not supposed to be included in his minute and a We half. keep it PG here at DHS. That's right. <clears throat> Contestant number 10 is John Sepulveda, and we're gonna have to do a little oh, moving okay. around for this one. So just give us a I'm few gonna go seconds. Over here. Sorry. <laughs> Grayson, that is a look. <laughs> Great job, Garrett. Oh. Garrett! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> John. John's um, in. Really quick, is that Thank piano you, gonna be in y'all's way? Oh no, well. Okay. <laughs> All right. See you, Troy Bolton. Thank you, sir. Cue the music. Why am I feeling so wrong? My head's in the game, but my heart's in the song. She makes me feel so right.
watch this all. Woo! I mean, look at this man! <laughs> watch that! <laughs> what is this? We can stand for the piano. Okay, well, as you can see, our next talent is eager to start. Um, so, next contestant is Vivon Patel. Hey, if we need to tell them to do anything back there, you just let us know. Okay. We're working on it. So, Luke Gentry, I'm not quite sure where you are, but if you could do your job. <laughs> Clearly he's been occupied with playing three different people in one night. Oh, don't drop that, don't drop that. <clears throat> Thank you for the supporter in the back. <laughs> Sound who says you can't rush perfection. <laughs> joke <laughs> again um so Vivant's not gonna go next um Bryden Moore is going to go next oh no we're good uh, never mind <laughs> I bet you didn't know this is a comedy show <laughs> I know you can't see Luke back there but I'm sorry for being mean Luke you're really trying I can tell yeah we probably should have, like, practiced this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
of course you might. Next slide, please. Numbers again. You'd be wondering what that is. Next slide, please. Friends house. <laughs> 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 you suck! Hey, hey, you mom. It's you? Okay. <laughs> called T. 
Dean T by ACDC.
this summer and so your money is greatly appreciated thank you at this time our boys group will be performing and this is the boys group that performed just a couple weeks ago in Branson and they got third place 
Yes, they did. They got third place. We're very proud of them, so give them a round of applause. We have mice. Oh, we do. Oh. Okay, cool. Let's get okay. check. This one's on. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's got a price. I wonder how they sleep at night. When the sale comes first, truth comes second. Stop for a <laughs> Smile. Everybody look to the left.
everybody. So we wanted to come up here and talk about our awesome blankets we have for sale. Um, we currently have them in the lobby for sale. Uh, they're super nice, really, really soft. Uh, they can snuggle two people in them. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can also roll up into one. They're nice, nice and soft, like I said. Um, great, they're actually helping us go to uh, nationals this summer. So, <laughs> it's upside down, guys. <laughs> so, come out, come out and help us, y'all. One is 45. $45 per one. For great cause. They are really nice. question and answer session. Each candidate will be presented with a question at random in this cute little box provided by Miss Stone. And they have no idea what they might be asked. They don't even know the options. So let's begin. Number one is Henley Barrett. Hey, Henley. live your life all over again, what part of it would you change? <laughs> what a tough question. If I had to change one part of my life, I didn't, oof, I would have changed that I didn't get here sooner. <laughs> Thank you, Hanley. Okay. Next is Luke Worley. from the box. <laughs> oh no. If you could add a word to the dictionary, what word would it be and what would it mean? Thanks smart. Yeah, thanks smart. We're at school. Um. Okay, bad question. Draw another one. Oh. 
I don't know. If I could add a single word to the dictionary, I think I would add the word Riz. And next to it would say Luke Worley. Thank you. is Ben Dowdy. Oh, hi. Hello. All right, just go ahead and draw one. If you had the opportunity to know the future, what would you want to know? Um, I would probably want to know if any of the judges are in my future, like one of my future wives or three of my future wives. Thank you, Benjamin. Contestant number four, Eli Scott. All right, go ahead, draw one. If you could trade places with a famous person for one day, who would it be and what would you go do? Let me think. Mondo Duplantis, who holds the world record in pole vault, and I would just pole vault. Next is Landon Gerald. Oh my gosh, you look so cute. Okay, draw one. Aw. What makes you the most fit to become the next Mr. DHS? Okay, so I'm a very involved person in the school, and also, I'm nice. <laughs> So, what? I'm Canoe! I'm Canoe! Yeah! Thank you, Landon. Landon. Our sixth contestant is Caleb Gott. Are you nervous? Oh, this is so fitting. Where do you see yourself in 10 years, Caleb? In 10 years? Um, hmm. Probably like being a ballerina or something. Uh, professional. I get paid millions, like a rocket. That's what I was saying. Thanks, thanks for joining. Thanks, Caleb God. Next is Leighton Schaefer. My bad, Elvis. Yes, and you hit me. Who is your role model and why? Oh boy, I wonder. Well, it could be that funny feller from Nashville. I'd have to go with Elvis Presley. Great singer, great guy. Yes. Thank you. Contestant number, oh yes, round of applause, yes. Contestant number eight is Baron Greer. If you could be any superhero, which superhero would you be, and why? Oh, sorry. Batman, because he's rich. That was a very bad 
answer. Okay, next we have Ben Christian, aka Tobaki. If you were a Kardashian, which Kardashian would you be and why? Kim. <laughs> uh, because she's beautiful. <laughs> and a badonkadonk. <laughs> Contestant number 10. Oh no, John Sepulveda. What is this one gonna say? If you had to pick someone besides yourself to win Mr. DHS, who would you pick? Uh, hang on. Uh, you know, I really do want to win this thing, but um, if I had to pick somebody else, probably um, Bryden. Because his, his <laughs> really I really liked it. It was my favorite act, so. I like Brian. Valid answer. Thank you, John. Hi. Contestant number 11, Vivon. Just draw one and then hand it to me. Don't forget, he's scared of women, so don't be too nice. <laughs> oh, if your life was a movie, what movie would it be and why? The Wolf of Wall Street. Because I want to become an investment banker. Like, wow. If you get the chance to, like, say hello to him, he's most amazing. Okay. Our last contestant is number 12. Riding. Oh, they're so cute. John's favorite. <laughs> oh. Yes, thank you. Okay. If you won a million dollars in the lottery, how would you spend your money? Too many guitars. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Thank you, Brian. Okay, so next, hey, Miss Stone, what's going on? Okay, so next, um, Mi Tyson? I don't know what I'm saying. This is just a guess. Um, so I'm pretty sure next, our reigning Mr. DHS, Tyson Carmody, is going to perform his talent from last year that won him the crown. Tyson. Tyson. Oh, here he is. Himself. All right. Do you need a mic? Do you have one? Uh, do you need a table? Uh, yeah, I need a table. That's about it. What about I've stool? Got this mic. Will stool work? Uh, is there? They said. Well, they somehow have... the table has vanished. I'm not quite sure. I was about to say we had the table like an hour ago. I don't know where it went. They table. Oh, they're getting it. They're getting okay. it. Hey, Chloe. So at this time, the judges are gonna go do, you know, what they do best. They're gonna add up their scores and all that kind of stuff. And meanwhile, Tyson's going to give us a little magic performance, which was his talent when he won last year. So you said all you needed was a table? Yeah. All right, we'll get you a table. Yay, Tyson! Woo! Circle. I'm gonna introduce you. I found it. We're not here. Okay, I'm gonna do it anyways. Tyson is the son of Ken and Michelle Carmody. <laughs> After graduation, Tyson plans to attend Murray State University and major in business. His escort is Chloe Warren, and Chloe describes Tyson as kind, funny, and smart. Now we wait for the tape. Table's coming! Wow, would you look at these? 
these big, strong boys, not men, boys. <gasps> way I've ever seen any two people carry a table. Just had to say. It's alright. Also, if anybody wants to take this balloon arch home tonight, feel free. My mom made it. And we have no use for it, so. Alright. Alright, thank you. Okay. So, for this trick, we're going to need a volunteer from the audience. As you know, the most guys are okay, Reese Collier. I heard you. It's not staged, she's just screaming very loudly, so I'm not gonna deny her of that. Okay, anyways. Yay, Reese! Go, Reese! So, all I want you to do is pick out a card, any of these cards from the stack. Can we come in the front? Yeah, you come in the front. Yeah, that'll work better. And then we're gonna have you, you pick a card and then give it to Chloe, and Chloe's gonna run it and show it to everybody in the audience. Uh, I don't know how easy it's gonna be to actually see this card. But we'll uh, try it anyways. So can everybody see that? All right, everybody see it? Hey, Chloe! I, I wouldn't read the card out loud. Just ask your neighbor. Maybe they see it. Okay. Um, so we have that. You can carry the mic now. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna put the card here. Give me the card. We're gonna put it back in the deck, and we're gonna shuffle it up a little bit. Wow. A little bit. Of, I'm not a I'm not a great shuffler, as you can see. Uh, I usually use the automatic shuffler, but. That's with blackjack only. Okay, so we've shuffled it a little bit, and I'm going to say that the card is somewhere in the top half of the deck. So we're going to put this down here. This is our discard pile. We're going to sit that right there. Don't want to touch that. We're thinking our card is not in there. So now we're just going to shuffle it a little bit more. We're going to do this little waterfall one. This one's pretty cool. Um, this is the only like cool shuffling thing I could do, and I still somehow mess it up. But... Lots of time. Shuffling and shuffling. Yeah, okay. Bella lots of Boss is really good at this. I know, I need a good shuffle. I need the shuffling skills. Okay, so now I'm going to say that the card is in the top. We'll do, we'll do top five cards of the deck. So we're going to count out one, two, three, four, five. And Reese, you're going to have to be in a test of this to make sure that I'm not cheating you on anything here. Okay, so you get in front of the table so you can see. All right. So we're going to flip these over. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you these five cards. I don't want you to say when you see your card, but at the end I'm going to ask and say if it was in these top five. So don't react to it. <laughs> Are you serious? I saw it, I saw it, we're good, we're good. Okay, 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 so. Okay, you'll, you'll have to tell her. Okay, so we're gonna flash through the cards here. Just make sure you keep an eye, or, hold on. I did not expect you not to see it. Okay, was it in there? Yes. It was in there? Okay, perfect. So. We're going to put that back on the stack. That's our discard pile. So we know that it is in here. We have one, two, three. Hold on, I can't count. One, two, three, four, five cards in the stack right here, right? Yes. Okay. So is your card the five of diamonds? It's not? I did learn this trick last night, so that's probably why. Uh, is it any of these four? No. It's none of these four? No. What about... Here, check the discard pile. Why don't you skirt out the discard pile? See if it's somewhere in there. What is that card that's face up in the middle of the deck? My card. Apart from all the other ones. Oh, that's weird. I don't know how that got in there. I don't know. It's a little bit of a mess, but it works. It works. It works. Here, I don't need this. I need that. Someone turn the alarm on. I know I'm mic'd up. That's the funny part.
Are you guys excited?
Mr. DHS Best Personality, Vin Dowdy. And without a doubt, the best talent goes to Bryden Moore. With an impressive $2,165 in his collection box, this year's winner is... Of the People's Choice, Eli Scott! Without further ado, I present to you this year's 2024 Mr. DHS and his court. The second alternate for this year is Layton Schaefer! Yeah. Our first alternate is, drumroll please, Landon Jerry! And I present to you, your 2024 Mr. DHS, Ben Dowdy! All right, that's all. We'd like to, oh wait, this goes to People's Choice? People's Choice, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you guys for all coming out tonight and supporting all these guys. Round of applause for every single one. Everyone did a great job and me and Amelia had so much fun. This is our last time in seeing Mr. DHS, so we're very happy about it. And then everyone, round of applause for Miss Stone and Miss Hopgood for all the hard work they did. 